just uh, obviously it's a great game. Both teams played really well. Um, a lot of strikeouts. I think they struck us out 14 times maybe, and we struck them out 12. And pitchers did a good job of getting out of jams. And it was, uh, you know, as a coach, you sit in the dugout and you try to figure out how we're going to score a run or how how's this going to go. And you almost think it's it, it's going to be a mistake. It's going to be an error. And, uh, you know, we, we, we felt really fortunate, uh, that we had, you know, had a runner on first with, with one out and, you know, some guys that were confident coming into the plate. I, I just felt like that white had swung the bat well all night. He lined out to short. I just felt, felt good about him getting a hit. I know he's going to hit a double, but, uh, I like the matchup there. Um, but it was just a great game. And, uh, I don't know, just really proud of the team, the way they, you know, they they fought. Uh, I thought our young pitchers did a great job. Think about Christian Fouch coming in there, throwing the ball almost 100 miles an hour. Had a little sink through, through one splitter, a couple splitters, maybe got a strikeout on one. And, you know, brought in Gackle there. I, I thought he was he was amazing. Um, and then Hewlett got the one hitter we wanted him to get, and he got him. And, and then obviously we we found a way to win. It's it's really hard to win in this league. It's uh, every win is you know that you can get early it takes a lot of pressure off yourself the second half. And uh, I mean LSU is a really good team, um, but we just we found a way tonight. And uh, I thought the crowd was amazing. The environment was amazing. And uh, you know we played clean baseball again. We really. We really didn't kick it around. We didn't. We didn't give them anything. And uh, you know, good win for our team. Yeah, Dave. What did you see specifically on on, on White's at bat? The, the 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 game winner. Well, I mean, he he jumped the first pitch and uh, smoked it down the line. I think I saw what everybody else saw. He he was really aggressive. He was looking for a pitch and he got it. It's kind of a fastball in. He turned on it. Uh, you know, White was playing on the line, but it was hit so hard and it was right down the line. It had been, you know, he had been standing on the bag almost to make that play. And then uh, it looked like the outfielder, he got the ball back in pretty quick, but he, I think he had a little trouble picking it up. And, uh, you know, Coach Thompson did a great job just sending it. You got to take a shot. And, uh, you know, Edmondson kind of goes unseen, but he did a great job turning up that base. I mean, he hit that base and he didn't get wide at all. He's made the cut. We've been talking about that and working on that and how everything matters. Everything matters in the little, in the, in the games that are close, all the little things matter in the, in the close games, the games you, you win by four or five runs, you don't talk about some things, but in the close games, it'll usually get you if you don't do things right. And he came around third hard, hit the inside of the bag, pushed off and turned it up and probably saved him a step or two. And, uh, you know, he made it easy. And as your 16th straight home win, what 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 are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I didn't know that. You're good with those stats, Bob. You know it. Um, it's unbelievable, really. It's hard to win. It's hard to win in this league, whether you're at home or on the road. So uh, we played five games at home in league play, and uh, we've been fortunate enough to win. We've won some close wins. And uh, last night was a tough win. Tonight was even tougher. And, uh, yeah. The crowd, they were, they were, they were, they were awesome. It was fun watching them line up today to get in, and they filled it up on a Friday night because Saturday is usually our biggest day. So, looking forward to seeing what happens tomorrow. Coach, all three uh, RBIs in the in the fourth or fifth, whatever. When you guys scored the three runs off Holman, came with two strikes. How important was it to kind of get those timely hits and really get that pitch count and, and make him work there in that inning? We our our whole. One of our goals tonight was to get his pitch count up, and we did a good job. After the first inning, it didn't look like it was going to happen. But after that, we fouled a lot off. He got wild, gave us a couple of four-pitch walks, kind of unusual. Um, but uh, the the two-strike hits, I mean, those are those are tough on a defense. You know, just you're right there. Pitcher's about ready to get him out, get you out. Pitcher gets frustrated, but you know the you know Wilmsmeyer double over the first baseman was. Uh, that was just a great piece of hitting because he had taken a couple of swings that weren't real good. It didn't look like he was going to get it 
you know, get, get, get the barrel to the ball like he did. And, um, you know, that was, that was a big swing for us because we were down a couple runs at the time. And, you know, next thing you know, we climb back in it and uh, there we go. Fouch coming in with the bases loaded. I mean, another high leverage situation. And then you have another arm that's kind of capable. Just how good was that to see? Yeah. So Christian, we haven't used him a lot this year. Um, last year, we didn't have as deep a pitching staff. He got a lot of experience. Some of it wasn't fun experience for him. But, you know, he's been working on a few things, changed the grip, got a little more sync. He got him a double play ball, a couple of ground balls, and that's a little bit of uh, what, what's going on. He's throwing strikes in the upper 90s. Uh, it's really good to see because we we need him, and uh, he's a tough kid. He's you know, he's going to throw 101 one day, but it might be next week. But he's uh, he's got a really good arm, bright future, and and we just we needed to get him in a in the in a game like this and have him have success, and that's going to really boost his confidence. And obviously. Uh, we have con we're going to gain confidence in him and uh you know we've we've got another guy or two that we're we're trying to get in there and probably going to have to pitch him tomorrow because we we need to and we want to but uh we're just trying to make that that bullpen as deep as we can and that's that's a good piece right there getting getting Fouch going a little bit so uh, Gabe, Gabe Yackel went two and two-thirds innings, scoreless, only allowed two hits and three strikeouts. And he was coming up, I mean, as a freshman, he was coming up against a pretty yeah. talented, talented team. Yeah, at, at LSU, number eight, uh, great lineup. How, how do you think he handled things? What? How do, how do you think he handled things tonight? I thought he was really good. And uh, came close to getting a couple more strikeouts. We give LSU credit. They, they put the bat on the ball. And uh, he made some pitches that were, I guess, just off the plate uh to his glove side um but i like the way he was commanding his fastball mixed in a few breaking balls and uh just just did a tremendous job and you know he, he threw twice last week against auburn first time he was light, lights out he say he got the save in a one to nothing game on a thursday night open the series i think that's what it was and then we used him again and it, it wasn't as good uh but we're we're learning our guys a little bit. They're kind of showing us what we need to do. But that was that was a tough tough situation to come in, and then you know him getting us through the tenth was almost through the tenth, and then it was finished up by Hewlett. Was obviously huge because you know we had a chance to hit with a chance to win, and we did. Did you consider bunting Stovall over in the ninth? Not really. Um, Ben's one of our best hitters. He's really good against left-handed pitching. Uh, you know, if I bunt them over, they're probably going to walk the next two guys. Then you got a double play set up. You're a little set up. You're a little farther down the lineup, and you know Ben's hit two hole, three hole, four hole, and you know I thought if I if I bunted him over, they're going he's going to walk three and four, and then we got five. And uh, yeah, it might have worked. It might not have. You know, if he was frustrated that he didn't get him over, but you know, teammate team picked him up the next inning. Yeah, Dale Hewley's kind of vulture. He swoops in and got two wins. They're getting two outs, but like I said, those are big outs. I mean, he's yeah. You know, you're asking him to go and get lefties, and he's yeah. doing it. I mean, just what he thought about him and a yeah, limited not, work, but you yeah. Know, I mean, that's his job. Come in and get a lefty. He can do it three times on a weekend and doesn't doesn't bother him a bit. He got one out, one or two outs last night, and he got a he got a save, and then tonight he got one out and he got a win. So um, good for him. But that's his role. He's known it since we were recruited him that you come here this is what we're going to use you as and he was all in so what would you think of, of uh, Molina's start I thought he was pretty good early um you know it almost seemed like the fourth inning or make that the fifth inning was his best inning and uh you know we tried to squeeze another inning out of him but you know he just all of a sudden he, it was over you know it was he was wild walked first two hitters and uh, but I thought he threw the ball pretty good. You know, that's a tough lineup to go through. A bunch of power hitting right handers, throwing the lefty at him. Um, he gave us a chance. And uh, so, yeah, it wasn't his best outing, but it was a good outing. With Gackle, uh, I would assume at some point in his career, he's probably going to be a candidate to start some games. But how important do you think this high leverage 
situations that he's been going through as a freshman coming out of the bullpen in these late, late inning situations. Like how much do you think that is going to help his development for when he is on the mound starting well, these games? It's exactly what we did with Brady Tiger. We did it with Smith. And I think it's, it's, it's got to help. I mean, all the experience pitching in front of big crowds, pitching in tough situations, pitching in this league. Uh, yeah. He'll, I feel like he'll be a starter for us. He could be a starter this year, but We've got some guys. If we needed him to start, we could start him. Um, he'll be a starter next year for sure. And uh, that's what I see. Hey, Coach. Peyton Stovall, three of five, bunch of plays in the field. I remember you talking preseason, you know, you didn't think you could find three better second basemen in the country. Just how important of a role does he continue to play for this team? Big time. He, he's a really good defender, as you've seen. The more you get to watch him play, you're – getting to see the real Peyton Stovall that you didn't get to see last year because he had a messed up shoulder. Um, it also took a lot away from his swing, hurting the swing. Now you're starting to see that pretty swing. It's powerful. Uh, you can hit the ball over your head at, all over the field and they'll fight you with two. And uh, I mean, that was a beautiful swing there. And I think in the ninth when he hit the double, yeah, he had a, he had a great day all the way around, but defensive play, turn double play, Dive and play, flip play, tag play. Um, and he had a lot of action. And he, you can see how he attacks the baseball. He comes and gets it. He doesn't just sit back. And, uh, but he knows, he knows when to slow down a little bit, you know, uh, as far as move to the ball, break down, field it, or just come and get it. Uh, he's, he's got a real, really good feel out there. Uh, I touched on a little bit earlier, but 11,000 plus two straight nights. Just how much of a lift is it when you have a fan base like this? Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing. I mean, if we had more seats, we'd have more people, but we don't. Maybe down the road, right? Um, but it's uh, I appreciate the players appreciate it. We knew we were going to have great crowds this weekend. We're going to have great crowds next weekend because our fans come and watch us play on the weekends and do a pretty good job during the week too. But uh, yeah, it was it was it was fun watching them file in, and uh, I'm glad we got to send them home happy. Coach, you mentioned that like cutting that bag at third. I guess I'm just wondering how does one go about teaching that? And I guess on staff, who's in charge of doing drills like that? Well, you know, a lot of times when you, you know, he's already, think of it, he's already hit second. So he's going full speed and he's got to make that turn. A lot of times you see guys hit that base and they, they kind of wander a little bit out in the, a little too far out. And uh, so you take one step that way. That means you got to take one step that way. That's two steps. You you can cut it up. You just save you save steps. And uh, you know I watched the replay. You know while I was getting my stuff to come up here, they showed it again, and he did a tremendous job of, of hitting that base and turning it up. And I mean he just barely went off the dirt, which is almost impossible to do as hard as he was running. So um, you know if he would have got out of whack a little bit. It, there's a good chance they get him. And then your vantage point on the play in the seventh where Aloy got thrown out at home. Yeah, he was, that was just a great play by LSU. And honestly, I should have taken that playoff and we had it on the first pitch. It's just a safety. Um, if it had been, a, if he'd have bunted that one, but it was a ball, we score. If he'd have bunted that same bunt, it was a really good bunt. I saw him put on a play. Um, I thought he's a really good bunter, as you see. Uh, I'm just going to make a make a play, and they did. I felt bad about it, but uh, I'm glad the players came through and found a way to win the game anyway. Holman entered the game with great numbers. You guys put three runs on him. He walked five batters. What yeah. do you think about that? Yeah, he's a little more wild than he's been. He hadn't walked batters this year. He's really talented, really, really quick feet, picking. He's hard to run on. Um I mean, he controls the game, manages the game, and he's going to pitch for a long time. But we had some success tonight because we fouled off a lot of pitches. We took our walks, got his pitch count up. and uh, But, uh, you know, you can see why he's probably their number one pitcher. Is it is it any sweeter, uh, you know, beating their ace when your ace already went? I mean, just for the team and, you know, the offense hasn't been hot all year, but, you know, they did a great job tonight against a really good pitcher. Yeah, I feel like our offense has actually been a better offense in league play than maybe early in the season. And we're taking our walks. Uh, we're getting 
almost nine, eight, nine, ten hits a game. That's hard to hit in this league with this pitching. Um, you know, uh, I don't think we had a home run tonight, but I don't think anybody did, did they? That's uh, That win was brutal. Uh, Kendall would have hit a three-run homer. Uh, they had one that might have gone out there, That the one that uh, Braswell hit to right, hadn't been for the wind. But it's it's the way the game is. But we've, we've hit the ball hard. I mean, we line out to left. Give them credit. They positioned that left fielder perfectly. He was back. They moved him up and over with two strikes. And behave it, and he smoked that ball. I thought it was a base hit when he left, and then there he was. And as a shortstop in perfect position for Diggs. I thought that was a base hit when I left the bat, too. But, you know, that's – that's just that's a good job, but we've been hitting the ball good. And how sweet was it? It was just sweet winning the game, winning the series. Now we have a chance to sweep somebody that's really good. Um, it's like I tell the players: it's it's rare when you get a chance to sweep anybody in this league. And if you get a chance, don't get happy. Show up and play hard. If you get beat, you get beat. But at least you know you get it, gave it everything you got. And don't change the way you think. Don't be satisfied. All right, coach. Appreciate your time. Okay.